mimi ni mkuu wa serikali ya ugatuzi ya migori na kwa mambo ya serikali ya ugatuzi ya migori mimi ndio mkubwa mambo inaanzia hapo na inaishia hapo na mimi nilichaguliwa na chama ambayo nyinyi mlinichagua nayo ni ODM kwa hivyo kwa sababu vyama ni vitu ambavyo vimekubalika kisheria yeye ako na ruhusu rusa ya kutetea chama chake na kutumikia sisi zote tuwe wana ODM tuwe wana UDA tuwe wana jubili yeye anatuwakilisha kule bunge la taifa mimi kama gavana mimi nawakilisha ama natumikia kila mkaji wa migori awe wa chama cha UDA awe wa chama chote yeye kama ni huduma kama ni nafasi anatafuta mimi kama gavana wake mimi ni gavana wake na nawatumikia bila ubaguzi ndio maana my mantra is service to all my mantra ama serikali yangu sema huduma na haki kwa wote so as a government we are pleased to work with the diversity we have Uh, Mheshimiwa Mathias just like Korea West here Migori is very diverse Migori is so diverse in terms of ethnicity in terms of religion in terms of culture and in terms of political affiliation So as a governor and as member of parliament for Korea West I am happy that you appreciate the diversity that you have here You have correctly pointed out that in Korea West tuko na Waislamu tuko na Wakikuyu tuko na Wakisi wa Maragoli wa Korea na hata tuko na uko tofauti tofauti na dini tofauti tofauti on my part as the governor of Migori County i try as best as i can to bring people together and to create an atmosphere of political tolerance that is why those who want to demonstrate in Migori County I tell you go on and demonstrate peacefully because the law is on your side those who do not want to demonstrate I tell you do not demonstrate and do not uh, quarrel with anybody who is demonstrating what we all require ile tunahitaji sisi zote ni kufanya kila kitu tukiti na tukifuata sheria mimi kama saizi I am the most senior politician in Migori County having been elected in 1997 together with the current president of the Republic of Kenya and I want to tell you that as a student of history and politics freedom has only has always come to the public when the public demonstrate in 1990 when I was a student leader at the University of Nairobi we did not have multipartyism We did not have a freedom to belong to any political party including the freedom to demonstrate and associate. We as young people of that time demonstrated the late president Kibaki demonstrated as a member of parliament against the Kanu regime that elected him. The current opposition leader Raila Amolo Odinga was part of that demonstration. The late Kennedy, Kenneth Matiba was part of that demonstration. And out of that demonstration we became a nation that tolerates multipartyism and must learn to live with political diversity. In 2005 I was minister of government and uh, that particular time we were fighting for a new constitution. It was the demonstration of all Kenyans including Koreans including the Jaluos including the Kisis and everybody that gave birth to the new constitution that created devolution and all this that is why if you look at the constitution the right to demonstrate is protected in that constitution and all international protocols require that the police the police must protect the lives of all Kenyans demonstrating or not demonstrating the police must protect and support all Kenyans who do not want to demonstrate in the same way that they must support all Kenyans who are demonstrating if you tell the police today 
and knowing very well they are not judges and they are not courts of law to shoot anybody, I want to tell you that recently I was very sad when my brothers and sisters were shot in Hispania. They were not demonstrating for any political reason. They were demonstrating because of the insecurity that was engulfing the region. So we must always ask the police, ask those who have instruments of power, ask those who have authority, wawe waki tunza na waki tembeza wanainchi pole pole. Polisi ni mtu ambayo hako na bunduki, hako na jela, hako na vitu vingi. Ukimpatia njia ile fupi ya kupiga mtu risasi, juzi watu wetu wengi waliwawa pale Hispania, leo wengine wanawawa kuingine. Demonstration does not happen in Kenya alone. Hii demonstration happens in America, in South Africa, in Egypt na kila mahali. What those governments have done is to make sure that they have created an arrangement where those who want to demonstrate can do it and those who do not want to demonstrate can also exist in harmony. So as a leader, I will not support the order to shoot and kill anybody. I will support and pray that we are able to coexist peacefully if you want to demonstrate, we are able to coexist uh, peacefully if you do not want to demonstrate. That is why I stand with my brother Matthias when he says that he's free to do anything and I'm happy he went to Migori and nobody attacked him. He goes to Kisi and nobody attacks him because we want to defend his views. His views are also views of Kenyans. My views are also views of some Kenyans. So when we have many views, then we can live as a nation with many views. We are a nation which is like a coat of many colors. Kuna kala nyekundu, kuna kala manjano, kuna kala ya blue, laksisi kama taifa. Hizo kala zote ni zetu na ndiyo inafanya tuko na sura mzuri. Inafanya tunaonekana poa. So that is why political tolerance irrespective of views are very important. I also want to say from my persuasion as a politician and as a lawyer, I want to tell you that the world over the actions of the police must be scrutinized. The police action must be scrutinized. That is why jana wakati niliona kijana mwingine akichapwa kule Nairobi anachapwa sana, the police could just arrest that poor fella, charge him in court and allow him to have his court in day. Hata wale wanafanya mambo ya changa hapa, mimi nimekua na nimeka na niko na miaka mingi kwa siyasa hata kama binadamu saizi na karibia kwa mze mahali natoka changa hiko hata kwa boma letu la kitambu kabla niwe mwana siyasa tulikuwa na changa hapo kwa hile little investigation that I've done I want to support the sentiments of the county uh, the uh, sub county commissioner the DCC Changa is taking toll on us because of the cost of living. Ukiona wale wamelala hapa wote, wao ni watu wadogo, wao ni matu, watu maskini. So Changa is directly correlated to the cost of living. And it is not for the public after electing us to bring the suggestions. It is us as leaders, ni sisi kama viongozi, ni serikali ya kuu ya kitaifa ama ya taifa na serikali ya ugatuzi ya migori kukapa moja na kupata mwelekeo tupate mwelekeo kwa sababu hata pale kwa biblia huko sodom and gomoro watu walikuwa na lewa na kila sehemu watu walikuwa na lewa kwa hivyo it is our responsibility to find the solution we may propose that these people are jailed when they are jailed and they have no access to their families, we will still have the same orphans that were being here. So I want to propose that my county government will form a small team and work with the county commissioner's office to find a solution ile itasaidia watu wetu. You may arrest a lady 
have her jail because she is brewing Chang'a. You do not know why she is doing it. You have never asked her. When you arrest and jail her, I want to assure you that the parents will be multiple. You may arrest and jail somebody for taking Chang'a. You do not know why that person is taking Chang'a. And nobody should say that I support the taking of Chang'a. Mimi kama uchilo sinwi, mimi kama uchilo sinwi, Chang'a nilikunywa nikiwa kijana huko university, and I can assure you what it taught me ilikuwa kudansa, and I was very good at dancing after taking Chang'a. But because I had a degree then, nilipata kazi. Wale wanakunywa Chang'a sasa hivi, wengi wao hawana kazi, hawana pesa, na kitu tunajua hao ni watu wadogo wale wanahitaji kusaidiwa mimi naomba those who are enforcing the law remember that these Kenyans who are taking something they know is poisonous something they know is ruining them these Kenyans deserve our support they deserve a solution that rehabilitates them a solution that is able to bring them back to productivity mimi Ningependa kusema nikimalizia niliulizwa why I do not demonstrate Mimi sijaonewa sijaonekana kwa maandamano na hiyo swali ilikuwa hapo I want to tell you that I'm the head of government and people should demonstrate against my government not me demonstrating against another government But what I do is I support the demonstration because it is addressing core issues When the cost of living kama gharama ya maisha iko juu wananchi waende waulize nani watampata wapi ama nyinyi mnajua mahali mnaenda kuuliza kwa hivyo kwa upole kama mnataka kwenda kuuliza hakikisha mnaifanya kwa njia ambayo inaheshimu sheria msiifanye kwa fujo msiharibu mali ya wengine na msifanye mabaya hiyo ndio maana haki ya kuandamana Really work well, Thank you very much and may God bless you.